Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, last time we just defeated... Gyo... something? The... the, the Oni? The demon? Uh, not actually a demon, just a big dude on a horse. And that was obviously some kind of major milestone, because it unlocked a bunch of things. Uh, also, I wanted to talk to Emma. Okay. Alright, she doesn't have anything new to say. So, she only uh, talked to me about that vision I had, that vision of the past, because she was actually part of it. So, that most recent vision that was only showing a conversation between Kuro and Lord Genichiro. Um, yeah, she didn't comment on that. Also, the game did not tell me that there were any new tutorials available, because I guess I haven't really unlocked any new techniques, so that makes sense. But we do have prosthetic upgrades, finally. Yes, indeed I have. この仕掛けで何ができる。<笑> Well, as it happens, I already have a couple of those items. Ah, there we go. Wow, okay, I was not expecting this to be a, um, an involved skill tree-like system like this. Huh. In the prosthetic tool upgrade menu, upgrade materials can and send can be spent to create upgraded versions of prosthetic tools. And of course, I'm pretty much out of money. That's great. Um, to upgrade, one must own the base tool and also complete any prerequisite upgrades. Of course, older versions of a tool can still be used after upgrading. Interesting. Okay, so we have the spinning shuriken. Unknown prosthetic tool. What? Wait. Where's the... Um, oh. Oh. The spring load flame is here. That is interesting. So this is a prerequisite for that? So something also fire-based, but... Huh. Interesting. Okay, spinning shuriken. Uh, requires three um, bits of iron scrap. Scrap iron. And 200 sen, all right. An enhanced shuriken that can be empowered with rotational energy, cause spirit animals to use. Yeah, I think that... Hold, spinning sure you can throw? Wait, what? Oh, because I... I have yet to buy this. Right. Oh, wait, and, and what I currently have is not the spring load, it's just a flame bed. Okay, I see. A flame barrel fitted with a gunpowder loaded mechanism, deals damage to enemies with gouts of fire. The spring mechanism can also be charged to release a massive blast of flames and hot air, sending opponents flying. Wow. Okay. So much for using my one bit of iron scraps and one bit of gunpowder to upgrade something. Just, you know, in a straightforward way. This is so much more than I ever expected. Holy crap. Unknown shuriken. Unknown flame barrel. Okay, so if I know the A version of, of that tool, it shows me the outline at least. Everything else is just a version... An upgraded version of a tool I haven't yet found. Wow, holy crap. Well, okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like I uh, can't do anything with it just yet. Yeah. I will. Oh, and we can use this again? Wait, no. This will just bring me to the same place. 
Um, because obviously the, the other major thing that I should be able to do, but then again, um, it remains to be seen what I can actually do with it, uh, is I can enhance my attack power now. Confront memory of Gyobu. Right. Well, let's see how this works. Remnant Gyobu, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf, Yobu Oniwa once led a group of infamous bandits, but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his show of strength that he took him in as an Ashina warrior. Oniwa would later go on to become Genichiro, Ashina's most trusted retainer. Oh, wait. So who exactly is Lord Ishin? I... I'm, I got the feeling at some point that he's the father of of young Lord Kuro. Maybe, and I thought that that Lord Ishin was the uh, the like the the rightful master of Ashina, but Genichiro Ashina is apparently well. I mean, obviously he's called Genichiro Ashina, so that would make him the rightful ruler. I I don't know, politics, man. It's it's too complicated for me. Attack power has been enhanced. Oh, it is that that easy. Okay, never mind. Attack power is now double than what I had before. That's cool. I was really the way it was worded. I mean, confront memory. Hmm. It really sounds like it's like it should transport me into some kind of alternate dimension where I actually physically confront that memory. But I guess not. Well, I mean. I'll take it. Um, and I can't really do much else right now, so let's travel back to Castle Gate and head on across over across the battlefield and take a look at what's over there. Up those stairs. I guess I'll also take a quick look around the rest of the battlefield here. It's curious that in this entire large open area there was only a single item on the ground and it wasn't even anything particularly great. But, I mean, it's pretty hard to hide anything here, so I guess that really was all there is. All there was. Right, that's where I jumped down. No way for me to get back up that way. Oh, there's a person there. Or is there? Well, I guess it's a person, but a dead one. Hmm. Looks like there's someone in there. Friend or foe, though. Looks kind of like a foe to me. Oh, maybe not. I even put away my sword, so... Hello? Who are you? Guy with a... Oni mask? Um... Excuse me? Wait, you're tall. Um, maybe answer? Shinobi <laughs> <laughs> なるほど。石碗の狼か。気に入ったぞ。ならば石黒。お主を相呼ぼう。お前は何だ。わしは足名の天狗よ。王石黒。お主もネズミ狩りをせぬか。何だと。ハンティングラッツ。<笑> 
ネズミもいろいろじゃがそれを片端から切り捨てるのよ。どうやらおもしも一切りの才がある。<笑>その才を磨くのに役立とう。どうじゃセキロネズミ狩りをせぬか<笑> ?Sure, I guess. 承知した。よし、セキロよ。ならばこれをくれてやる。Huh. Rat description. A description of the rats that have snuck into Ashina. Speak to the Tengu again once the rats are dealt with. Assassins from Senpo Temple. Short, short stature wear bamboo hats. A number of rats are lurking about, last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. Huh. <laughs> That sounds good. Hmm. Okay. This game keeps surprising me. Oh, wait. Does this lead back to this area? Maybe? Wait. Yes. Yes, it does, of course. Yep. That's where that guy is. And the rifleman is patrolling down here. Actually, he's going to yep, turn around way too fast for me. To sneak up on him. But I don't need to. Cool, poor horse. Bit of gunpowder, startled. Now he's dead. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't get that to work. Could get the horse to get startled. I mean, the, the horse did startle. Or something I did. Sometimes did startle the horse after all, but... It seemed to just happen from attacking the guy. And sometimes the horse would shy. I don't know. Alright, do you have anything else to say? He's probably just going to going to scold me for not having dealt with the rats yet. Yeah. Okay, or not. What is up here? A light source? Wait. Did that indicate something? No. Hmm. A coin purse. Can grapple up here. I guess I can probably also just jump up. Hmm. Nice jump. And that does what for me? Looks like there is maybe another opening up here. I mean, there is an opening. But how does one get up there? From that beam? Looks like it. Maybe? Okay, that works. It's a little bit awkward. Hmm. Oh, okay. Another prayer bead. I think that means that we're once again only one short, maybe? Is that right? I don't know, maybe it displays that somewhere, but either way, it doesn't make much of a difference right now. Oh, and we can't keep going up from here? No, we cannot. Weird. Why is there a letter here? Or why are there stairs here? Hmm, leading up to the roof, I suppose. Too bad that's not open. Would be nice to have a good view, from, a good look from up there. Okay, all this little bit of climbing just for a prayer beat. Oh, and we're... Perfectly fine. Nothing happened at all. All right. Hunting rats. Short of stature, bamboo hats. Like, I was thinking of that guy... Uh, 
um, drumming near that uh, general. He looked kind of impish. And he definitely was wearing, uh, was wearing some, some kind of straw hat and cape. And of course, we've also seen in the uh, Ashina Castle area in the very beginning of the game, we saw that weird little goblin who was also who also had kind of bamboo hat. this oh mysterious trader cool green glowing lamp you got there purchase an offering an offering like something hmm. not of blood on it yeah i mean i can't really deny that Huh. Oh, you can buy Dragon's Blood Droplets here, and they're not very expensive at all. Well, he only sells a single one. Antidote Powder, first of all, Vash. Okay, once again, he offers to, to buy coin purses to basically bank your money. Robots Firecrackers. Oh, maybe this is what, uh, what that eavesdrop hint was referring to. This certainly seems like something that would scare an animal. Firecrackers from across southern seas can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. Oh, to become a tool, really. And a gourd seed for a thousand. Holy crap. But that's not... Those are not gifts to the deceased. I was hoping that he might sell a key item that I could offer to the Buddha statue to allow me access to another area, like the uh, weird past version of Hirata Estate. But, I mean, I guess I'll take these two gladly. And this blood droplet, I guess. Sell items, too. Oh, that's interesting. Divine Grass. What's that do? All right, that's still the um, Divine Blessing, basically. Hmm. Oh, and I... Wait. Is this the exact value? Yeah. It is, right? Pretty sure. So I can just sell them here quickly instead of having to use them manually. Sure, 500. I need 1500 something to buy the the firecrackers and the the other thing that I've already forgotten what it is. God damn it. Um, no. This would give me not quite enough. But close to it? Maybe I should be smart and only get another 500 for now. Ah, Gourd Seed, yes. So I'll buy this. And I have another 400. Yeah, I have another 400, four Litecoin purses, so... Um, right, and this is exactly 500. And then 180 for this one. So as soon as I have made enough money, I'll return, I guess, and buy those two things. Memorial Okay. If you say so. Hmm. Wait, what, what's he called? Battlefield Memorial Mob. Oh. Okay. Huh. All right, another ominous encounter. Can you not grab this ledge? I guess not. They can't stand here. So the rats have last been seen in this area, huh? I wonder if they spawned here only now. Of course, they could be past that, past the actual gate right there. Ashina Castle. Castle Gate area. I mean, I suppose this area is part of that. Part of the Castle Gate area. That over there? Yeah, of course, that's where I came from. Right, that's the bridge, the broken bridge that I first saw. 
or first saw a long time ago, it feels like. Well, we'll see how that works with the rats, and if there are going to be more hunting contracts, I guess. Do I see that thing somewhere? Not really. Hmm. I mean, I did get some kind of item. But I guess I don't actually have it as a physical item in my, in my inventory. Um, I guess before I continue on, I'm going to quickly return to the temple and give Emma that extra gourd seed. Which will bring me up to four uses of my healing gourd. Yes. Nice. I suppose while I'm here I'm also going to talk to this guy and see if he actually has something new, maybe. Mm -hmm. Still nothing in that box, it looks like. Well, these are all things I've already trained, so... Okay, fair enough. Travel to Ashina Castle Gate. Maybe we'll find some of those rats once we continue through the gate. did restore my gourd uses. Good to know. Oh. Guy just standing there. Facing my direction. You know what? Actually, that really doesn't matter all too much. Okay. I almost managed to get a shot in. Almost. Um, okay. Any reason to be over here, or...? Not really? Maybe to take a look at the area? Oh, we can grapple. Up there and skip a lo skip ahead a little bit. Actually, quite a bit. Well, maybe not that much. Hmm. All right. There doesn't seem to be any other reason. There is something over there. That's good to know. Seems like I'll have to climb over that wall to get it. All right. Oh, that guy's facing my way. Hmm. Could grapple up there, bypassing them entirely. What? Huh? Oh. I guess that shouting didn't have anything to do with me, necessarily? Oh. Is that the big guy, maybe? Well, we'll deal with that once we have to. Oh, okay. Can quickly grab this item while I remember that it's here. Aqua sugar. Well, I suppose it doesn't hurt to take a look at what's ahead. There's a dude with a sword. He looks pretty standard. Then, of course, the big guy. There's another person standing there. That I might be able to sneak up on and kill. Actually, I should be able to sneak up on that guy easily through the tall foliage. Good 
first I'm gonna look around here a bit. Oh, there's another person there. Didn't see that one. Oh, come on. This is not ideal. Okay. At least we were getting some health with each kill. Oh, a dog, of course. Haven't seen those in a while. Oh. An open gate, how unusual. Yeah, okay, the big guy is doing the shouting. to stay completely sneaky during this kill. Also the big guy should be able, should be easy enough to sneak up on in one shot once I decide that the time has come. Good to know. Certainly something here. Path up into the, the mountains. Up the mountain. Hmm. Okay. Oh. There's an item right here, and there's a an emblem. Something over there as well. Actually, several items. Wow. Okay. Right. That's that courtyard again. Light coin purse. Very good. That means that I actually already have enough money to for the, uh, the new prosthetic tool. <sighs> okay, well, I messed that up. That's okay. Uh, can I jump up there? Well, not if I keep falling, although, might be able to grapple up from here, no? I thought the tree was grapplable. Maybe not from down here. Maybe I actually have to do it from across on the other on the other platform. Oh, that's probably one of those so-called rats, and there's a staircase leading down. Where even is this? Oh, that must be the gate. Okay. So this is... yeah, yeah. Okay, this is overlooking the battlefield. I can't really tell what direction that guy's facing. I think he's facing away from here. I don't see anyone else nearby. So it should be possible to... Ishin's illness. Black hat. Okay, so Black Hat might be an ally of mine, if he is an enemy of these guys. That's usually how that works, right? Also, who was he actually talking to? Oh, I didn't realize I was eavesdropping that guy back there. Contact medicine. Hmm. Okay, one of them's gonna see me. They don't look tough, but more often than not, enemies that look inconspicuous have some kind of trick up their sleeve. Oh. Oh wow. Actually, the trick being in this case. Oh, right there. Poisonous, and also. 
they can throw some kind of things. Some kind of projectiles, and they have their heads blocked. Oh, this is bad. Their heads block uh, attacks. What? Right. So, what do I do about that? Oh! Oh, okay, that guy. Whew. Ah, it's just annoying. Heal. Nope. Okay, my healing was cancelled. Heal again. No. What are you doing? You idiot. What are you doing? I didn't mean to dash toward the enemy. That makes no sense. Okay, thanks for healing. Should probably. No. Okay. Not. I should try not to be attacked by both at the same time. That's that would help. All right. Okay. These are these guys are nasty. I could have probably. Oh my god. I could have probably snuck up on one of them. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's pretend none of that ever happened. Don't you shoot me! Oh, well, okay. At least it seems like he always shoots over my head. Guess I'm okay with that. Can I... grapple up here immediately? It looks like I should be able to grapple there, but... I guess not. Maybe from up here? Well, I... I guess I never really looked around here. No, that's because I decided to go that way. That makes sense. Okay, there are those people. Right. And down there is a guy with the guy with his dogs. Um yeah, those two are nasty. I definitely want to take out the guy by the tree here. I wonder if I run up to the guy, to one of them, if I'll be able to get a backstab in. Yep. Okay. Pellet. Oh, and black gunpowder. Oh. Oh. Okay, no. Come on. Unfortunately, parrying doesn't really seem to do much in terms of uh, dealing poster damage to the guy. I would like to... I'm, I'm trying to retaliate immediately with... Uh, you know, a kind of instant counter-attack. That doesn't seem to work at all. Wait. Nope. And th this certainly doesn't do anything. And more or less that. Oh. Ugh. How do you fight these? There must be a trick to it. Oh, what? What? What was that? <gasps> I did the wrong thing. How did I manage to, to switch to the wrong item? God damn it. Well, that's a waste. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if I could get around this guy and attack him from behind? Oh, man. Maybe jump across? But that brings me too far away. Oh! Okay. Huh. Well, that kind of works. I 
If only they were... They would remain stunned after their own attacks for a bit longer. Okay, jumping over them actually kind of works. Sometimes. Ah, poison. Thankfully that, that doesn't seem to really deal damage by itself. Also, I messed up that counter big time. Or that parry, I should say. Also... Ah, oh, the freaking dogs. Of course. Come on. Nope. That's not gonna work. Heal. That's annoying. Stupid dogs. Um. Hmm. I almost had him. Yeah. If I had been smarter, I would have made sure that uh, any nearby enemies were taken care of. From here before. <sighs> Stupid dog. Wait, that one shot the dog? Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah. In theory, it should be possible to counter range attacks. That's what the game told me. I'll use a pellet, sure. Ah, of course. Wait. Of course. Okay, one more attempt. Come on. Try to be ready. Hmm. I mean, these must be the rats that the Tango was talking about, right? No doubt about that. Ah. Yeah, this was super ugly. Wow. Incredibly ugly. I don't think that I was told a specific number of rats to kill. And then they also don't stay dead, so... Can I please target the dog? Can I please target anything? Why? It's not letting me target anything right now. This is bizarre. Can I please? There we go. So crazy. Don't mind me. Your dog must just have, I don't know, collapsed from old age or something. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Well, I used up all of my gourds, so that's bad. <laughs> and I don't think it really did anything for me, unless there is really a certain number of them I need to kill. Maybe I was too distracted to notice uh, some kind of progress indicator. Hmm. You know what? It's maybe not a terrible idea to, to actually sneak around those two guys via this little island here. Actually, there's one guy that was standing here this one time. Must have been some kind of patrol. But from where? Huh. Certainly not seeing him here. Hmm. 
Unless I've somehow taken him out already? But I don't think so. Oh, wait. There he is. I guess I must have just missed him. Trees sometimes interfering with my climbing. Jump up. <laughs> Jump up. Oh. Oil stuff again, huh? Or something. Good. They don't know where I am. Oh no, that guy actually saw me. That sucks. His friend's still none the wiser. Also, the other guy is actually. Oh, right there. If only I could be sure that I'll, I'll get a stealth drop kill on this guy, if I try. Nope, not quite. Oh, god damn it. Whoa, I accidentally did that uh, combat art. Okay, <laughs> I guess I got the job done, even though it's not exactly what I had Plan. I guess I must have been... Yeah, I accidentally just hit uh, block and attack at the same time. Well, alright. Guess I'll take it. And with that, I should be pretty much done around here. Yep. Oh, right. I never went to that upper platform with the, with the two items. That was reachable from... I guess from around here... here. Right. Oh. Okay, there we go. Then up to this platform, and then... should be possible to grapple across here. Like so. Okay. Neat. Jeans. No, gut jeans. Sugar and more scrap iron. Oh, what? What was that? Oh, lizards! I keep missing these guys. They're so sneaky, <laughs> sneaky and sneaky. I would also prefer not to get poisoned, if at all possible. Ah, oh, and I fell down. At first, I thought. Someone threw something down at me? Some kind of grenades or exploding pots or something? But I guess the, the lizards themselves just dropped down to my drop down from the from the cliff or something. I wonder if they can also be taken out with a single shuriken. They, they totally can. But of course that does not give me any health back. Hmm. Yeah, that's something to consider. With that being said, there's only one left. Alright. Nice little ambush. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm also most of the way to the third skill point. Which is nice. Money's looking good. Of course, I still don't have any healing left, so that's that's really bad. Big guy's there. Actually, I might be able to sneak up on the other guy. There are two people there facing the other way. Use that thing? What thing? Ah, but Oh, 
ちゃんとせえちゃんとそんな風では巻き込まれちまうぞ一度起これば敵味方の別などなかろうでな<笑> Maybe they're talking about the snake now? I like it. Oh, they oh, wow, there's another one lying in ambush. You bastards. Absolute bastards. Wow. What? No. Nope. Why did I not get that backstab? I object. Starting to second guess himself. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. Was might be possible to oh uh, maybe get on top of that that building. Maybe from this side. Oh yeah, for sure. Much easier. Of course. There might very well be nothing up here. In fact that does seem to be the case. But you do get to take a good look around at the impressive castle. There's some kind of open field over there, which is always very suspicious. Right, that bridge I saw in the distance. And it certainly looks like there used to be a bridge at one point. Hmm. I don't know. I can't tell at this distance if I'll ever be over there. Probably not, though. It looks like it, it's probably just scenery. Looks like there's definitely no reason to go down there. All right. Oh, yep, there's the other side of that bridge. Huh? Oh, didn't see you there. Just full of ash, okay. And another item. Scrap iron. Nice, nice. Finding lots lots and lots of upgrade material recently. I like it. Hmm. I like it over there? Possibly. No items. Open field. That certainly very much looks like a boss arena. A pretty, pretty cool looking one at that. Here. There's a guy standing there with his back toward me. Ashina Castle. Oh, we're in Ashina Castle. Castle itself. Is this actually. Well, the. Um, the uh, prologue, basically, did take place in Ashina Castle. Some part of Ashina Castle. Castle? Castle? Of course, this is. It's a pretty large area. 
I'm not sure I've been to this specific part of the castle. Seriously? Just a free kill like this? What's the catch? Hmm. No catch, I guess. This looks a bit too high for me to climb up. Yep. Wonder if there's a way from the other side, maybe? To approach this place a bit more sneakily? Maybe... From that temple? Have I been up there? Oh, I say temple. I mean, it's probably not a temple. Just a building. Ah, oh, yes, of course, that is the building I was thinking of. But this wall seems a little bit too high above me, and this roof is overhanging a little bit too much. Although, that being said, never mind. That worked. Now, of course, this tree is going to block me. Yeah, that's why it's there. Yep, sure enough. Well, that's a bummer. That means I'll have to approach this place without any really, really good cover. And of course, now arbitrarily the game doesn't give me any grapple points at all. Can I eavesdrop here? Blazing Bull, what? Oh no. Oh no, no, I wasn't ready for a boss fight. I don't have any healing! Game, this is not fair. This is so not fair. In fact, wait. I can just do this. Yes. What? 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 Excuse me? Yes? Okay, weird. Kinda glitched out that time. I don't know if I'm invincible while doing this. I would assume that I'm not, but somehow I survived. And that's all that matters for me. Wow. Whew. Okay. Good to know. Surprise boss fight. Blazing Bull. Uh, too bad I don't have a water-based um, thing. Uh, whatchamacallit. Prosthetic tool. To douse the water, uh, to douse the flames. It looked like uh, from the brief glance at, that I got just a very large bull with a burning roll of straw stuck to its horns, which would explain both the fire on its head as well as its rage. Um, right, I want to actually go ahead and buy that prosthetic tool upgrade. I mean, it certainly doesn't feel like it's gonna help me with dousing the fire, but maybe it's gonna scare the bull? I mean, it looks like it's uh, a little bit too preoccupied probably to, to even react to it, to my firecrackers, if that's what it's gonna be. But who knows, it might help. Also, I did kill some of those so-called rats, so maybe the tango is gonna be Gonna be satisfied with what I did. Hello, friend. Oh, oh I mean. Oh, I mean. Oh, I mean. Oh, I mean. Oh, I allows one to learn Ashina-style skills. The text reads like a history of Ishin Ashina's battles. When young, Ishin fought desperately time and time again, polishing his technique in the blood of his enemies. He considered, uh, consolidated his learnings under the Ashina-style name for the sake of his clan's dominance. Okay, so Ishin Ashina is... or it might might be the former lord of, of the Ashina country, kingdom. So maybe... I caught that somewhere. リュウハという手も堅苦しい決まり事などない。ただ戦に勝つ。その一時を市場とする権威。Seems 
All right. Thanks. Anything else? Ashina Ryu. Ryu ha to yu te mo katakurushi ikimasu. Tada nezumi ga ri. Okay. This guy seems kind of... I don't know, like, like, uh, like there should be more going on with him. Maybe we'll have some more meaningful encounter later on. Yes, actually, well, yeah, I'm gonna sell one of these. Actually, two of these. Then I'll purchase this firecracker, and I guess I'm gonna actually sell another one. And also purchase this dragon's blood droplet, because uh, it looks like I'm going to be doing some more dying in the foreseeable future, and, you know, it's only a question, only a matter of time before the dragon rot starts to spread it once again. Um, right, and with that I'm going to, I guess, quick travel back. Whoops. Oh, that's not how you, that's not how you do things. Easy now. Temple, talk to the sculptor, have him make my new tool, and don't think I have... Well, we'll see. Maybe, actually, I might have enough to do some kind of upgrade. In fact, I should have enough iron scraps. I don't think I've found any more gunpowder. Oh, we'll see. Omeza. Yes. Shinobi firecracker. Fitted with robots firecrackers. Cost spirit emblems. Unleashes an explosive flash that briefly blinds foes and inflicts poster damage on beast-type enemies. Ah, oh, okay. So, in theory, that should work on the Blazing Bull. It has a wide frontward field of effect that can impact, impact multiple foes at once. Suitable for temporarily immobilizing enemies and particularly good for scaring beasts. Yes. We just... The text just basically said the same thing twice there. That's cool. Scatter a flash of gunpowder in front of you. Easily frightens beasts. Okay. Yes, please. Sono shinobi gishu. to. Well, it's been useful, yeah. Oh, prosthetic esoteric text. Thank you. Um, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with shinobi prosthetic. Grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. So this... Was written by the sculptor himself, huh? これを。お前さんの牙でどう噛み殺すか。それが書いてある。よう。忍びき種を使った戦いの術じゃな。わかった。全く。義種の忍び技など、もはや無用と思っておったが、わからんものよな。Well, okay, this is here. Actually, oh yeah, of course. I mean, this this makes perfect sense that uh, the flame vent is actually further along the tree because I did get that in the Hinata estate, which clearly is meant to be explored a little bit later in the game. Uh, spring load firecracker. So, okay, so spring load just always adds a uh, charging mechanic, holding down the button to have an enhanced effect. Throw charge the rotational power of the shuriken... What? Uh, charge the rotational power of the shuriken before throwing. Hits the enemy multiple times. Okay. I see. I could do this if I had enough money. Hmm. I could upgrade this too. I wonder if that's worth it. Scatter a flash of gunpowder in all directions while spinning. I mean, it sounds like it would also probably use more ammo. But I feel like this might actually come in quite handy against the upcoming boss fight, so it might be worth using my materials for this. Yeah, I don't have I don't quite have enough for both. Actually not even close. Uh, when you really think about it. Um two hundred, huh? I think I might have just enough. Yeah, 
Hmm? Yes. Right, I also have to actually equip it. Cost two. Actually, it tells you right there. I never noticed that. Well, it goes to show how observant I am. Um, also, I should probably get rid of this here. Hmm. I wonder, though, is there anything I want to have handy? Maybe aqua sugar. Maybe dowsing powder, because I can certainly see how that how that blazing bull might actually set me on fire. Sure. Um, inventory. Do I have enough gold? Yes, just enough. I mean, I might as well. Almost. Yes. Tier 3 information is now unlocked. Thank you. Wait. Except... Oh, Tier 3. Right. 1, 2, 3. But only for those tools that I actually have. Gouging top. An enhanced shuriken that pierces enemies with its sharp blades. Cost spirit ammo to use. Yes. These piercing blades retain momentum after landing and will damage an enemy's vitality and posture, even if guarded. Taking a moment to further bend the spring and build rotational energy will cause the blade to rotate after landing, damaging the enemy multiple times on hit. Weird. Every every one of these texts seems to basically say the same thing twice, worded slightly differently. Huh. Okay, sure can throw and spinning sure can throw. So that just adds an an additional effect though. Spring load, long spark. Upgrade a firecracker. Gunpowder, uh, compounded gunpowder is said to have a long spark, and by increasing the proportion of black gunpowder, the effect can be prolonged for longer than the average firecracker. The flames of the firecrackers bloom for a short while. Huh. A long lasting flash. Okay. Not entirely sure how that's supposed to work, but I guess I'll find out eventually. <laughs> No, not for now, thanks. Right, I'll also have to... Oh, wait, you actually have to choose which one to use. Even though in this case it seems to make little sense. Because the basic effect is the same. Alright, so even for the ones where it doesn't change the basic effect, it still lets you choose which version to use. Okay, fair enough, I guess. How's that look? Ah, yes, I guess that's a ribbon of firecrackers. I see. All right, uh, acquire skills. Okay, Ashina Arts. I'm glad to see that this tree seems significantly smaller. What's this? Ichimonji. Acquires the combat art Ichimonji. Delivers a heavy one-hit overhead sword strike, deals high poster damage, and also recovers one's own poster with a strong forward step. Okay. Single-minded mastery of this technique is the heart of the Ashina's style strength. Once mastered, it can likely be improved. Huh. Okay. Hold LB and RB. Hone Ichimonji. Gather strength and release the full power overhead strike. Okay. So you can either do a, a quick one or charge it up. Interesting. Hmm. What's this? Chasing silence? Question mark? Huh? After using certain prosthetic tools... RB to follow up, I guess. Okay. White slicing attack. Applicable prosthetic tools. Loaded shuriken after throwing. Shinobi firecrackers after throwing. And one that I don't have yet. Huh. Interesting. Grappling hook attack. Oh. During grappling hook movement, grappling hook attack. Ah, oh, that would have been so useful against uh, Gyobu. Of course, I couldn't have, couldn't possibly have had it at that time. Maybe in New Game Plus, I suppose, if there is such a thing. Use the forward momentum of your landing to perform a powerful sword attack. Exactly what I was what I was asking or wondering. Or I guess uh, complaining about not having. Hmm. That in effect. I mean Actually I really like the idea of this. But then again, 
this does require me to to actually grapple onto an enemy, right, and pull myself toward an enemy. And that's only going to be the case for maybe some large enemy, some large non-boss enemies and certain bosses, like the rider. Hmm. I would also really like. Actually, what 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 I really like, I guess this still. Shinobi eyes. Mid-air combat arts. And this seems so amazing. But maybe it's worth putting some... Spending some points on, on cheaper skills. I mean, honestly, my, my first combat art here, the Whirlwind Slash, has not really been doing much for me at all. I've tried using it a couple of times, but it's just... It's, it seems very underwhelming. Surrounded by enemies. I mean, that should never happen in the first place. I guess I, I've never tried using it in such a situation when that happened, because that's normally... And when I'm surrounded by enemies, I normally just panic and don't think of... don't remember using this. But I wonder if it would really help that much. This, on the other hand, might actually help breaking certain enemies' poster that like to just block a lot. Maybe those small guys with the shield hats, the rats. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. Whatever. And that unlocks Ascending Carp. Acquires the latent skill Ascending Carp. A latent skill that increases the damage inflicted to poster upon performing a successful deflection. Oh, that's so good. Such a much needed basic attack, basic, basic skill. Descending Carp. A latent skill that for a few seconds after deflection increases damage to enemy poster from all sources. Oh man, this is so good. I need these. The Ashina style is deeply rooted in the flow of the fountain at waters. They believe the act of successfully deflecting a blade is akin to the to a carp descending a waterfall. Yeah, well, I mean, I want both of these. The sooner the better. I also want all the stealth-related things, and I, I guess I can do without these air deflection and air attacks, for now at least. This seems off, uh, not awful, awesome, but I wonder how much practical use I'm actually going to take uh, get out of it. I'm mostly interested in this... Uh, and the part where where I can use my enemy as a platform to vault into the skies. That sounds completely crazy. And I wonder if that can actually be used to, you know, for as a movement skill to reach certain places that you couldn't otherwise reach. I wonder if the speedrun maybe makes heavy use of this, although it seems to, to use an awful to need an awful lot of skill points to unlock, so maybe not. Hmm. But yeah, the, the sneaking related things are still very very interesting. And of course well, I mean, I can certainly see the grappling hook attack being very useful in those situations where it can be used. Which might actually apply to this upcoming boss fight. That being said, um, I think for the time being I'm going to actually call it an episode, yeah. Uh, I would like to, to attempt the boss fight for real, but I'm going to save that for next time. Um, yeah, as it is, we, we gained lots of new things. Um, and we have access to lots more things once we actually acquire a ton of skill points and upgrade materials and more money and, you know, all kinds of things. Um, and we're probably going to uh, to take down that bull next time. Um, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.